Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a full face of drugstore first impressions. There's so much new drugstore makeup out. I feel like almost every single drugstore brand is coming out with new makeup products. I just put in an order for Milani. I just put in an order for e.l.f. last night. So lots of drugstore videos are coming, so get excited. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these products down below. My dry skin people, my oily skin people, my combo skin people, because I feel like it's always really helpful to see different insights on different skin types. I have combo skin, so I feel like a lot of things tend to work really well for my skin, but yeah, just let me know down below. But I love you guys, I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to grab a snack, and let's get started. Okay, so when I was out at the drugstore, I didn't really see any brand new drugstore brow products, so I just went ahead and just did my usual brow routine, but Milani has some new brow stuff, which I'm really excited for. I just ordered it, like I said, before filming this video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my lids, and I'm just using my NYX Proof It eyeshadow primer. I'm so excited for eyeshadows today. I'm gonna be using this palette, which is the Physicians Formula and Casey Holmes Butter Collection. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. It is so beautiful. I ordered this on Physicians Formula's website. They also do have it on Ulta, but it is sold out at the moment. I mean, you can see why, because it is stunning. This palette retails for $20. You get three full-size face products, four eyeshadows, a perfume, and a lip product, which is really, really good. This packaging, everything is beautiful. I know a lot of people don't love the bulky packaging. It's not a huge deal for me, especially in this case, because everything is just kind of secure, and if you're traveling, everything is there. It's a $20 palette, and you get so much in it, so it's like, what more could you ask for? So anyways, I'm gonna start off with this color right over here, and I'm gonna use that to set. It is called Do Not Disturb. I set my lids just depending, but I it depends. I don't usually do it all the time, but ooh. It's really pigmented. This is the first time that I'm trying Physicians Formula eyeshadows. I know that they have some other eyeshadow palettes as well, which I have right here. But I don't know if I'm gonna play with them today. I might, or I might just stick with this palette. I don't know. I really like this color. I feel like it's like a really nice all over lid shade. I feel like if you are tanner or like much darker, I don't know how well this is gonna be. Like it's gonna be really, really light, but it does feel really, really buttery, which I like. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the shade No Filter right in the crease. And I'm gonna use this blending brush. This is a Vegas Ney blending brush. I'm pretty sure I got this at TJ Maxx. This is pigmented. It is extremely pigmented. Mm, okay, I don't like this brush for this. I'm gonna use a white-haired brush. I don't know why I feel like white-haired brushes, they just work so much better when you're blending colors in the crease for some reason, I don't know. And this brush is the Beauty by Rosita blending brush, which I love. Okay, so this is definitely pigmented. You need to be really light-handed with it because, oh, There is uh, some kickback in the shadows, so if that bothers you, I don't know how much you're gonna love the shadows. Personally, it doesn't bother me. I say it like in every video, but I don't mind when eyeshadows have fallout or kickback, especially when they are affordable. But these are super buttery and pigmented. So I feel like with a lot of shadows like that, that tends to happen a lot. Like with Anastasia eyeshadows, that always happens and it just doesn't really bother me that much. Oh wow, this is really pigmented. They're nice. I think they're blending out really well. Okay, then I'm gonna go with the shade Tropic Like It's Hot. Oh, this is like so rich. Look at that, oh my gosh. Wow, that's really pigmented. Oh my gosh, and I'm like tapping off the excess and I'm like barely dipping my brush in here. I like this. Okay, so I'm gonna just cut my crease in here and I'm gonna add the pop of green, of course. Okay, so I'm gonna just use some concealer and I'm using this new one from NYX, which I'm gonna use later on in the video, which I'm so excited for. I'm gonna just cut my crease and I'm using this Kind of flat angled brush. It's from Beach Cosmetics. I'm just gonna cut the inner part of my crease, not so much the entire lid. Okay, and I'm gonna take the shade Palms Palms right here. I'm trying to use like everything from this palette. I'm gonna pack that on that. Maybe I didn't even need to cut my crease. I kinda wanted to just like emphasize it a little bit more. Oh uh, yeah, I probably didn't really need to do that. Oh, it's really pigmented. I feel like, ugh. <laughs> I like this. I just feel like it's looking a little Christmassy for me, so I'm probably gonna add a gold in the middle of that. That's really pigmented, though. I didn't even spray my brush. I'm going to spray it now. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's nice. I really didn't need to cut my crease, to be honest. But whatever. 
So I'm gonna blend out the edges of that, don't worry, but that's really, really nice. I think the pigment on this is just like their face products, very buttery, very smooth. I'm gonna use this rounded brush from ColourPop. It's kind of like a dome shape. I wish that these had names, but they don't. And I think what I'm gonna do, just sticking with the same palette, is I'm gonna take the highlighter shade, which is called Just Beachy, and I'm gonna just take that. I really like how once I blended in the highlighter, it kind of creates like its own green color. Like, do you see that? I feel like I need something a little bit darker on the outer part since the crease is super warm, but I really like that now more so than just with the green because I feel like it just kind of needed a little something. So I have these Physicians Formula Butter palettes right here. I'm going to add some of this dark chocolate brown just on the outer V of my eye. Okay, so the formula is the same, which is good. Ooh, I like this now, really. I just, I really do like the color combos in Casey's palette. I just felt like with the green and the orange, it just was giving me kind of Christmassy vibes and I'm not really trying to do a Christmas look right now. So that's why I wanted to add the other highlight shade and the brown in here. Like, I like that so much better now. Just from dipping into this brown eyeshadow, the formula feels just like the eyeshadows in the Casey palette, I mean, I don't see why they would be different, but if you're wondering, yes, the formulas are the same, super buttery and very, very pigmented, as you can see, like that's crazy. And the eyeshadow palettes were, I forget the price, I'll answer the price right here, I'm gonna look it up because I don't remember at the top of my head, but I got those directly on their website because I haven't seen them at any of my drugstores personally. You know what, I'm gonna use this little applicator that came with the Physicians Formula Butter Highlight, and I'm gonna use that to emphasize this right here. Like, I feel like these applicators, I always throw them out, but they could work really well with shimmers. Yeah. Especially with this formula, because it's like so moussey and buttery. Okay, I'm digging this. I like it now. I was a little nervous at first because I was like, oh, I don't know about the contrast, but I like it now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just add a little bit of glitter right in my crease, and I'm, these are not new. This is a newer color for me. I just started using it, and I'm obsessed with it, but these are the Flower Beauty Warrior Glitter Shadows. These are amazing. I have every single color, and I'm obsessed. I use this e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush. It's super tiny. I got this in a brush kit, but you can buy them separate, and it comes with a black handle. And what I'm gonna do is just take that glitter and I'm gonna kind of apply that right in my crease. Okay, so I don't know why more people aren't talking about these glitter shadows because, I mean, come on, this is amazing. I'm gonna go in, of course, with my e.l.f. eye tapes. I ordered, last night I put an order on e.l.f. and I ordered five more packs of these. They're only $2, so it's like, why not? Then for eyeliner, I have the new CoverGirl Get In Line Active Liner. It says, shake well. I love CoverGirl's, where's it at? This eyeliner in major matte black. I believe it's called the Get In The Line Black Liner. This one is amazing and it's super matte, so I feel like this is gonna be just as good. It has a really nice tip. I just got this sent to me yesterday in PR and it looks really good, so let's go with it. Ooh, I love the applicator. Okay, I kind of messed up a little bit, but don't worry. We're gonna fix it. Damn, that's really black. This is good. The tip kind of reminds me of the old Wet n Wild Mega Liner, which I used to be obsessed with before they changed the applicator. I'm gonna go in with these falsies. These are not drugstore, but I don't have any new drugstore lashes, so I'm just gonna pop these on. These are in the style Princesa. And for those of you wondering, I always use, both of these I feel like are the same. These Kiss Lash Glues. 
yeah, they're pretty similar. So this is all that I use if you're curious. Okay, lashes are on. Now we can move into the skin, which is like probably my favorite part whenever I do first impression videos. Okay, so I'm gonna just start by spraying my face with the CoverGirl Active Cooling Setting Mist. So this says, locks your makeup in place, seals your look, transfer proof, breathable feel, suitable for all skin types, etc. Mm, that feels really good. Looks super hydrating. Now for primer, I've gotten so many requests to test out the new e.l.f. putty primer, I think it's called, and then this Catrice one and compare it to the Tatcha one. I just ordered the e.l.f. one last night, so that video is coming soon. I'm probably going to do a comparison, but today I'm really excited about this Catrice Prime and Fine Smoothing Refiner Primer. It just looks like this. I think Tati was the one that said that this was a dupe or something. I'm not really sure. I forget, but this is what it looks like. Oh, that is... Thick. Probably didn't need that much. Okay, so it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't feel as thick as the Tatcha one. Like this one kind of feels a little bit like thick but thinner and it has a little bit more of an oily residue compared to the Tatcha one. So far I feel like it doesn't feel exactly like the Tatcha one but we're gonna see how the makeup wears over top. I definitely have to keep using that to really put it to the test but this was like under $10. I got it at Ulta and it's been sold out for such a long time when I saw it I was like yes! For foundation I got the new Revlon Photo Ready Candid foundation. I believe this was around $10 or so. I got it at Ulta and then for my beauty sponge I'm gonna be using the new one from Wet and wild which looks really good it feels super bouncy it kind of feels just like the beauty blender to me to be honest I don't even use a beauty blender anymore just because there's so many other better sponges so I'm gonna just use this oh and I didn't even tell you the shade I got shade 320 Revlon shades I feel like in other foundations besides the color stay they're always super weird so hopefully this will match this feels a little thick kind of like a mousse but let's go with it I'm gonna blend it in with this wet and wild sponge which already feels Amazing. It's like really bouncy. And let's just apply the foundation over top of the lips because my lip balm is pretty much faded. The coverage is looking pretty, I feel like natural, like I can always tell if something is super full coverage by these two beauty marks that I have right here because there are times when I can barely see them because of the foundation being that full coverage. But with this one, I feel like it doesn't look, doesn't look super light coverage, but it doesn't look super full coverage either. I'm gonna build it up. I still have some on the back of my hand. Kind of feels a little bit like a moussey type of foundation. I never apply a lot of foundation on my nose. I always get questions about that. Um, my nose, I feel like the foundation can get really cakey, especially around this area right here really quick. And I have really bad allergies, so I usually am always like blowing my nose a lot. And so when I do a lot of foundation on there, it just doesn't look good. So that's why I usually don't focus a lot of the product on those areas. Looks pretty good. I feel like this is some good medium coverage. It's not super full coverage. Um, it's not as bad as what I thought it was going to be, and the color looks like it's going to be a good shade. It's a little gray, I feel like, or even a little pinky. That's one of the things I don't like about Revlon foundations besides a Revlon color stay. Like, their other Revlon foundations, I feel like the shades are just always so weird. So that is the finish of it. This sponge is really good, like wow. I'm so glad that I bought two of them. I don't know why I bought two, but I did. I guess maybe I accidentally did and I didn't notice. Pretty sure that these are like $5, so. And then for a concealer, I have two new ones to try, so I'm gonna do one on one side, one on the other. Okay, so I'm first gonna start off with the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Concealer on one side. And this one is in shade Light Medium. What's really cool is I thought this was gonna be sort of like a squeezy tube, but there's an applicator. Pretty good medium coverage. I'm gonna build it up. Um, that looks really good, and this sponge is amazing. 
If you tried the e.l.f. sponge and you don't like the tiny holes in it, I think you would like this one because I feel like it reminds me of the e.l.f. one. It's just a little bit more kind of like rounded, whereas the e.l.f. one is slightly like just a little bit longer. But this one is just like a beauty blender type sponge. Like it doesn't have those little holes in it, so... I like it. And then on the other side, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Contour Concealer. Looks just like that. And this one is in the shade medium, or just kidding, neutral buff. Oh, uh, maybe a little too dark, man. And I was like swatching it in stores and I didn't want to get like a super light shade, but this looks really dark and very yellowy, but okay, we'll go with it. Okay, so the Revlon Concealer, I should have read this before, I just get so excited. The Revlon Concealer has caffeine, antioxidants, anti-blue light without sulfates. Okay, okay. So I know the color is kind of like a little yellowy for me, but I kind of like the way the NYX one looks better. This side's definitely more light, but that's just because of the concealer shade, but... I don't know, I kind of like this side more. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, then for powder, I have the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Setting Powder, which looks like that. I tried their Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. I think it's kind of weird that they're, like everything didn't come out at once. Like I just saw these products, but um, maybe they did come out and I just never noticed. But no, I just, no, I would have seen them. So this is kind of weird. I usually always apply my powder on the lid, but it kind of comes with this weird, sort of like rounded thing there, so I can't really do that. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the powder. I really love their won't stop, won't stop, won't stop, won't stop, can't stop, won't stop. Pressed powder, that one is really, really good. So I feel like this is gonna be good. I think the shade is pretty good. I'm gonna do, of course, a flash test so we can see how this looks with flash. You see that? It kind of looks like a shimmer. Why does it look like that? It looks like there's like a sheen to the powder. All right, I like the way that it looks. I mean, I feel like there is kind of a little bit of a sheen right here, which I don't know what that's from, but we'll see how it looks with flash. I mean, I don't mind my makeup right now. I'm gonna just set my eyebrows with my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, which you guys know I love. So, I'm gonna jump back into the Butter Collection Palette from Casey and Physicians Formula. And I'm gonna be using the bronzer in here which this is not a new bronzer, but again, I wanna just use the palette, so why not? I love this bronzer, it's so good. I really wish Physicians Formula would come out with more colors, so I'm gonna use this brush. This is actually from Forever 21, believe it or not. And I'm just gonna bronze and contour. I feel like bronzer always just brings the skin back to life. And then of course I'm gonna use the blush and highlighter as well, which looks like a really pretty, sort of like a rose pinky color. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's kind of like bronzy actually when you apply it to your cheeks. Okay, I applied a little too much. I always go blush crazy. You guys know I normally go for things that are a little bit more on the peachy side, but this is really nice because it's like a bronzy color, and I feel like when you apply it, it looks a little bit more bronzy and like less pinky, which I really like. Mm, it's a little bit of a sheen to it too, which is really pretty. Do you see how soft that looks? Like, I used a lot, but like, it just blends so nicely. And then I'm gonna go in with the butter highlight, of course. I feel like these apply best with your hands, to be honest, or your fingers, not your hands. Uh, yeah, that's beautiful. That could even be an eyeshadow. Like all over the lid. Yeah, with your fingers, these definitely apply the best. And looking at the color, it looks like it has some glitter in it. But applying it, it doesn't 
see like it's not like chunky it's actually really really beautiful and they feel almost wet when you dip your finger in and you touch them but it's like a mousse to powder finish oh that's really pretty this could even be a highlight topper if you have just a regular powder highlight and then you want it to just pop a little bit more go over top of that with your finger and then you can see just how intense and pretty and smooth that is i love it sticking with the same palette i'm just going to be taking this color right here no filter i need to memorize these shades like oh my gosh these are so pigmented like you have to literally do this like tap your brush ever so lightly because yeah oh that's pretty i don't have a new Pencil liner. I'm just gonna go ahead and line my waterline with the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil, and this one is just in the shade Glossy Emerald, just to go with the green that we have going on. This is a little bit more of a darker green, whereas this one's a little bit more like a forest green, but whatever. And I'm gonna go back into the Butter Highlight in Just Beachy. Pop that in the inner corners. So the color works with a brush, yes, but I feel like when you're actually applying it to your skin, it works better just with your finger, but you could do either or, of course. I hate when this happens. So annoying, but always let it dry. Then take a Q-tip and it'll come right off, but I hate it. What I'm going to do is just use the lip product in this palette. So these are the Physicians Formula Butter Lipsticks, which I've never tried before. So this one is Pop the Bubbly. So I'm not going to even line my lips or anything. I'm just going to see how it looks on its own. Oh. Mm. Smells really good, but I don't like this color on me. It's like a metallic. And I personally, I'm not a fan of metallic colors i wonder if they're all like that uh yeah and i don't like this color on me i feel like it makes my teeth look kind of yellow mm. i really like everything that i use today and i don't want to throw it off with the lip color okay so these aren't new but i got this new color from physicians formula the healthy lip velvet finish liquid lipsticks these are amazing that is so satisfying so this one is in the shade nutritious which i've never tried before so i'm going to just use my koki lip liner in nude then i'm going to top this off i've never tried this color i love the way these smell oh it's a deeper shade okay oh that actually matches with the eye makeup really nicely so I got these directly on their website just because I think you needed to spend a certain amount to get like free shipping, which I didn't even get free shipping anyway because I like overnighted these products because I wanted to get them ASAP, but I just figured I would order another color. I got actually two other darker colors as well because I really love the formula and I love every single color that I've tried of these. Um, so far, I haven't tried all of them, but they're so good. So this lip color I really like. It's not that I didn't like the formula, like I mentioned, of the lip color. I just wasn't a fan of the color and the finish, but this I like and I feel like it complements the eye makeup really nicely. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and set my makeup and I'm gonna use the same Outlast Active from CoverGirl. Okay, so this is the completed look. To be honest, you guys, this is probably one of my most successful drugstore first impression videos that I've done in a while. I love everything except for one thing, which I told you guys about. The Physicians Formula Butter Lipstick. And the reason I don't like this is just me being picky. I just don't like the color and I don't like the finish. But if you like this type of color and this type of metallic -y finish, then you will love it because the formula is out of this world. Super creamy and literally like butter, which I really like. I want to try more colors to see if they're all like this. But if they have like a matte shade like this, like a nude pink, I would love it. I know I would. Or even like a darker shade. But it's just this color in particular that I'm not obsessed with. I feel like it just doesn't complement my skin tone well. But that's just, again, me being picky. 
but in general I really love this palette I think Casey did an amazing job so congratulations to her I think this is perfect for traveling you have pretty much everything that you would need for your full face all you would need if you were a beginner or if you just want to travel and you don't want to take a lot of makeup is just foundation concealer powder and everything else is in here which is like very very convenient I have no issues or no complaints with the palette it was buttery it was creamy it was easy to blend and I love the look that I created at first I was a little like oh my gosh I don't want this look like a Christmas holiday look but I ended up making it work with a brown if there was a brown in here I think this would even be a super perfect palette like a dark chocolate brown but I still love the palette regardless for $20 I feel like you can't ask for more so that palette I'm definitely gonna be using it a ton this lip color I feel like this really is what transformed the look and this made me love the look ten times more this lip color is perfection it's not too brown it's not too dark if you guys have not tried the healthy lip velvet finishes from physicians formula you need to it is probably the most comfortable liquid lipstick formula that I've tried to date like drugstore and high-end like I really like it everything I think looks really good like my face looks really good really smooth I mean I just don't have anything bad to say I did take a photo with flash and this is what it looks like I do feel like the products especially the powder are flash proof this makeup sponge is amazing absolutely love it wet and wild killed it the setting spray is good the eyeliner is good this primer I like the way my makeup looks over top so the Catrice primer so far is good. I mean, everything is bomb. So I'm gonna be wearing this throughout the rest of the day and I'll do a check-in for you guys. I'll let you know how everything is wearing, but so far I'm very impressed. So I will see you guys in a little bit and we'll see how everything wears. All right guys, I'm back. It is later on in the day right now. It is almost five o'clock. So I've been wearing this makeup for a few hours. I put this on earlier this morning and this is what my face is looking like right now. Honestly, I am pretty impressed. My forehead is a little bit shiny, but it's nothing excessive, it's nothing crazy. I will say that I feel like the Catrice primer isn't an exact dupe, just like my first impression from using it today. To the Tatcha one, I feel like with the Tatcha one, I can definitely get more hours before having to touch up versus this one, but it's not bad. I obviously will keep using it. I'll even like do it side by side test if you guys want me to in the future. I did touch up my lip color a little bit because it was fading because I did eat. It didn't really fade like too patchy or anything like that, but I just wanted to touch it up because I was getting a little bit of a butthole lip, which I still kind of I have it but that's okay so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and blot my face I'm gonna go in with my Palladio rice paper blotting sheets which I love you can get these at Sally's beauty supply so I'm just gonna blot the forehead is like the main spot and you can see this will blot away the oil without removing your makeup which I really like I don't really feel like I need to blot the rest of my face but I'm going to anyway just so that when I add some powder it's gonna just look a little bit more fresh I'm gonna just use this Flower Beauty Miracle Matte Universal Powder. Just using this to set the areas where I blotted. And this brush is a little domed brush from Sephora. I really love my makeup. My under eyes look a little crepey. Nothing crazy, but you can definitely kind of see a little bit of cakiness. It doesn't feel like super dry or anything, but it does kind of look a little little crepey but I got a little dot of highlighter right there what is that I mean besides the under eyes it doesn't look too bad but I mean if you look at me up close you can kind of see what I'm talking about but other than that I really don't have any major issues I mean you can see with me blotting and touching up the makeup looks nice and fresh again I love the eyeshadow I love the butter collection palette with Casey Holmes and physicians formula the lip color I'm obsessed with. I think the foundation wore really beautifully throughout the day and I like how the powder doesn't give any crazy flashback. So far, so good. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products and what are your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Bye.